guys, what's going on? It's Zapdos. I know it's been a while since I made a video, um, but I have a little surprise for y'all. I'm not alone today. Say hello to... This is Zapdos! <laughs> and if you don't know what she's holding, she's actually holding a Jap Japan crate, Japanese crate. It's like Japanese candies, chips, cookies. I'm sure y'all probably seen a lot of this on YouTube already, but we picked up the FYE exclusive box. Um, we actually picked this up at the mall at our local FYE shop. They're about $35. They also sell a different crate called a UMI crate, but unfortunately they were out of them. So we ended up picking up two of these for about $35 a piece, and we're actually going to be trying them today. We've had a few Japanese snacks and drinks and things like that, but apparently they change these every month. Um, so we picked up a couple of them because if I end up liking it, and she ends up liking it, then we're going to end up fighting over it. So we got two of them. So anything in there that we like, we can each keep ourselves. But hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know I have been absent for a while. I'm sorry. If you all notice in the background, um, the bare walls, um, things like that. I'm actually in the process of soundproofing this room and have been for a little while. On top of that, we have been moving a lot. Uh, things with our daughter, everything else like that. But do you have anything to say about why I've been gone? I hope I don't throw up. <laughs> she hopes she doesn't throw up. Okay. So we have a book that tells us everything. We were going to completely throw it out of the equation. But then we realized we can't read Japanese. Mm. So I have mine still because um, it does have some instructions in here. But we're going to start by going through what's actually inside these boxes. So when you first open it up, the first thing you'll notice is you get a you get a little sheet. It's a gift voucher, and I'm covering up our code because I don't know if we're going to use it or not. But it's a gift voucher for $10 off a 3, 6, or 12-month prepaid Premium Japan Crate subscription. And I don't know if it's strictly the FYE edition. Uh, supposedly the FYE editions... They include things that they don't normally send out. So I don't know about that. But also included is kind of this um, manga style, meaning it's reverse uh, FYE edition little book. And inside here, the first thing you get is a description of what's in your crate. And then in addition, there's uh, fall flavors in Japan because this is the fall box. So gives you some little tidbits and learn Japanese um, costume queso and watachi wa hora I got I don't I, I, I yeah I'm not even gonna try it I'm terrible um, and then there's some promo for their website and then there's also the instructions I was talking about we don't know how to read there's instructions right there for the ice cream and do we need water for that yes Oh, oh, okay. Well, we might not be doing that one. Might not. I'm not just taste the powder. I got one um, in my mouth. So, and then, you know, it's kind of, again, on the back, manga-ish, uh, graphic novel-ish, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, each FYE box also includes a limited edition item. And we didn't know that the boxes were the same. Uh, the guy in the store actually had us open up the box because he wanted to know what was in it. Um, so I got curious. I was like, well, I wonder if they're all different. So we opened up both boxes while in the store after we had already bought them, of course. But we realized that it's the same boxes at FYE, and they both came with this little pencil purse kind of thing, which is all right because I'm sure Mrs. Zapdos will keep one, and we can give one to our daughter um, to carry around all her little toy cars and stuff like that. Um, but... We're going to basically be going in order as it appears on this sheet. Um, now, the first thing that we're going to open, though, and just have it on standby, is a Naruto Watermelon Remune. Now, we actually have had these before. We actually bought a bunch of them at FYE. That's not Naruto. That's not Naruto. I know it's got a Naruto character. What is it? <laughs> but if you don't know what a Remune soda is, basically it's like this really sweet carbonated soda. Uh, and there's a marble in it. And we have yet to figure out if the marble is like coated in sugar to add sweetness or if it's just a novelty factor. Um, yeah, you can see it right. You can see it right there at the top. But basically all you got to do is tear the plastic off. And they come with these little poppers. And it 
it looks like it should be the nozzle or the mouth of it, but it's really not. It just comes right off. And all you have to do is kind of push, and it pops out the little tab like that. Now, remember, you have to keep... Now, sure. if, if you guys have never done one of these, I'm going to warn you right now. If you just pop this marble down in here with the popper and just take your finger off of it, it will spew everywhere. Okay? It's a very carbonated soda. Yeah, it's very carbonated. So, I'm going to basically set it on top. And... Okay, I can't, I, I can't just do it off the table. So, it's I'm sure you probably heard it. So, that's, marble, just take that out. That's trash now. And there's that. So, we're not going to take a sip of it yet. Because, um, again, we're going in order. But we're going to have that right there ready. It's ready to go. So, the first thing. What's the first one? First one we have is Cola Dinosaur Gummies. And it says, RAR, these little dinosaur gummies are a refreshing cola flavor. They're so tasty and chewy, we think they're dynamite. Bad pun is bad. I so love their packaging. Yeah, so. And then they've got American things, so you can tell they're, how many calories yeah, you can count that shit. Their packaging, light's kind of terrible, sorry. But they're packaging little cartoonish dinosaurs. And then on the back, they've covered up the Japanese writing uh, with an Americanized sticker for the calorie counters, things Bam. like that. Um, that's what yeah, it looks like. That's what it looks like. Now, I don't know if they're all one flavor. It it just says that they're cola. So, I don't know if they're I, all... If it's red, you don't taste it. Yeah, for any of y'all that don't know, I'm allergic to cherry. So, trying the fruit-flavored Japanese stuff is very scary for me because we can't tell what's in it. That's why I'm here. And I'm also colorblind, so she's going to have to kind of look at them. They all look the same. That's scary. Yeah, they all look the same. Wow. That is cola. It's like those cola things that we get at the dollar store all the time. Yeah, they they smell very much yeah, like... they're all the same. Okay. They, they smell very much like... Oh, the package. Like Coca-Cola. Like, it, when you pour Coke into a glass and the fizz starts coming up, baby it really dinosaur. smells like the fizz. Yeah, there's a baby dinosaur. There's a Stegosaurus, uh, a T-Rex. I'm going to assume whatever shapes are on the... So there should be also a Triceratops. Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume whatever. The biggest one. You gotta yeah. try the biggest one. Do you have a big one? I don't know. Go big or go home. See, and y'all wonder why I married her. Ooh, ooh, Triceratops. Okay, so I Wait. got a T Rex. I'm gonna regret my outgoing this. Stegosaurus. I got like three baby dinosaurs. Stegosaurus. I got a Brontosaurus. I got a Spinosaurus. And a brontosaurus. I didn't get no babies. Okay, I got so three. You want one? we're gonna do the biggest one, which is the spinosaurus. All right, three, two, one. Very chewy. Very like chewy. chewy. Yeah, they're hard. They're fresh. They're they're not really cola. It's more like cinnamon. It's more like it's more like a cinnamon soda. Hey, it's not bad though. Yeah, they're not bad. I wouldn't. I wouldn't I would, buy them. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a big bag of them. Just walk around popping them in my mouth like you know I would I might gummy have, worms or gummy bears. Gummy bears. I have to let them stay out a few days. But I'm weird. Mm. It's it's real cinnamon. It's I more. They are expired. Yeah. <laughs> it's more cinnamon than anything else. Okay. So. The next thing we're going to try is Super Heart Chiplet. i got to find mine here. Which ones are they? are they? Okay. So, Super Heart Chiplet. As the name implies, these chips are heart-shaped and come in Yakiniku barbecue flavor. Yakiniku is Japanese for grilled meat, so these cute chips are bursting with savory goodness. Now, I actually have really high hopes for these because um, I don't know where you all live, but there's actually a brand of chips called Ray's. And they actually make a barbecue rib and a barbecue pork flavored potato chip. And they're very, very spot on with the barbecue flavor. The deal with the packaging in Japan, I love it. So, they're colorful. Yeah, they're, yeah, well, I can't tell the color. So we're going to pop these open, get a smell, and I hear a baby at the door. <laughs> cool. All 
smells like ramen. Oh yeah, yeah. That <laughs> smells like it smells like uncooked ramen. Oh, these are kettles. This is this is not. Hang on, hang on. So, they really do smell like ramen. Um, I don't really see the heart shape in them, but. Hang on, I got one that has a heart. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not all of them are heart shaped, but it really just smells like raw ramen with the seat. If you've ever had those uh, ramen noodle cups, like you open them up and you just add the water and microwave them, they smell like that before you add the water. Some people don't microwave them. I know, some people don't microwave them. But they just boil the water and put it in there and let it sit. But it is a very airy chip. It's like it, a kettle chip. Yeah, it's not really like a kettle chip. I wouldn't know until it tastes um, it. It's very airy, like it's been like Puffed. dropped in a deep fryer, kind of like a crackling or pork rind would be. Um, so, if, oh, wait, I have a heart shape. I have a heart shape one. I have two if you need one. Okay, ones. so we're going to try one of these. We're going to try. It's almost like a barbecue. There's a barbecue taste. I can taste it. Yeah, there is a barbecue taste, but they are very airy. Like, you bite into them and they almost dissolve. Um, at the end, you kind of get a pork like a barbecue pork flavor. They're not bad. I would get these every now and then. Yeah. I mean, if they sold these in the store, I'd probably buy, I'd probably buy us a bag or two. Like, these are really good. Very barbecue. It's not overpowering, like, say, like, Lay's or Ruffles barbecue chips and stuff like that is. Um... It's a very sweet barbecue. A little smoky, not a lot. And then like the aftertaste is just like the pork or like a, a barbecued fat flavor, which I like. I'm weird like that. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that go out to eat steak or something like that and I always have her give me the fat and gristle because that's like one of the best parts of the steak if you never knew that. But. Medium rare to rare to be a good steak. If you're cooking your steak anything other than rare or medium rare, stop it. Stop it. Well, don't stop it. I mean, some people can't handle it. <laughs> Go sit in a corner and think about what you did. Oh, we get to try our medium before the review. Oh, okay. Banana man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. All right. So the next thing on the list, we'll try to speed it up here, are these <laughs> new, new few remune. And you well, get three of them. Yeah, they send you three, and basically, like if you if you can see in the background, uh, back of the package, they're kind of like a lifesaver shape. Um, like but the description it gives is, we're back for more whistle candies, but this time in a remune flavor. I guess they call them whistle candies, because I guess if you put them up to your lip and kind of blow through them, they whistle. I don't know. Um, you can whistle like the cute little birds on the package. Okay, so it's saying we can whistle through these. Yeah, you had to put it like a perfect, like almost like a duck call, but not a duck call. Oh, they're just making you do the duck face. That's all it is. <laughs> they're making you do the duck face. Yeah, okay. The, look at that. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Duck so. Face. Oh no, it's the same size on both sides. I was like, oh, it's bigger on one side. Yep. Okay, so. No smell. Oof. I kind of got oh, it something. Looks like there's two. This is gonna break mine in half. Yeah, they kind of got a split down the side of them. I don't know if y'all will be able to see that oh. in the camera. Yeah, that's Ramune. But um, mm. if you've never had Ramune flavor, if you... Original. Uh, original Ramune. That's what this is, is original Ramune. Um, go to, like, any candy store and buy a package of Fruit Stripe gum. We always make fun of it, and we say it's the gum that only lasts three seconds. And if you have a whole truckload, it lasts you a whole day. Yeah, get a whole truckload of it, it'll, you'll have flavor all day. But it, to, to us, it kind of tastes like the Fruit Stripe gum, but we've only had it in the drink form. We've never had it in a candy form, so maybe this will change your mind. But, uh, still got a little bit of barbecue. Um, but alright, three? Nickel. Oh, okay, yeah, let me get a drink here. <laughs> alright. So, one. three, yep. two, one. Yeah, that's your remove flavor. I don't know, it's a little bit better than the soda was. Like it's like a toy. Oh, mine's split in half. I like you. But that is kind of cool that you can whistle with them. I said skip. 
Oh, wow, they're not even hard. They're really soft. Mm -hmm. It's really safe for kids. Yeah. I know what it tastes like. Chew it up. I don't want to chew it. It tastes like. Um, what what is it? The ripping dips that you like? You take the stick, you lick it, you dick it, fun dick dip. it, dip it <laughs> in the powder. Yeah, fun dip, fun dip, fun dip. It tastes like you just dipped it in fun dip, like the blue raspberry powder, and you just bit it. Oh, wait, no, I only eat the sticks. Yeah, I know. You only eat the sticks off of it. But that's what it tastes like. It tastes like the... No, it just tastes like those candy necklaces to me. Yeah, it all... It ha well, the... Yeah, the flavor is like a candy necklace, but the consistency is like a fun dip stick. Um, it's really sweet, and then you get to the fruit flavor. And you get to a sour part, yeah. Mine really didn't have a sour note, but I do think it's pretty cool that they actually do whistle. They are call they call them whistle candies, and they actually do whistle. Um, so, I would say those are really safe for like, young kids, too, because that's like easily chewed. Yeah, and if y'all can't tell, I am using a different mic. Uh, I do still have the Razor Siren. Uh, this is the Turtle Beach Stream mic. Um, the boom microphone, mic. yeah, the boom arm that I have actually won't support my Razor Siren. It so. said it did, but yeah, it said it did, but it doesn't. Um, and it also came with a plastic adapter oh, piece for it. Oh, one of yours is broken. One of mine is broken. Yeah, oh, no. Broken. Um, but, yeah, so we're using this right now until we can get a new boom arm ordered and everything. Um, but the next one, neither one of us is looking forward to. Oh, I don't want banana. Where's banana? Did I lose banana? Oh, is this banana man? Oh, uh -huh, why yeah. is banana man Hawaiian? So the next one is called Banana Man. Now, I am not a fan of bananas. I got my Reese's. Song. Yeah, Come so a little sto little story time here. Um, she went to Sonic one day, um, trying to be nice, and got ice cream for herself and me. And she ordered me a Reese's concrete mixer. Well, yeah, I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Well, apparently somebody at Sonic doesn't know what a Reese's concrete mixer is supposed to be. It's um. They put bananas in it. Now, if I you're... went there the other day and I saw that it did say bananas. Oh, it does? It, yeah. So, But, I mean, if you're an Elvis Presley fan or your parents or anybody's an Elvis Presley fan, his favorite sandwich was a deep fried peanut or fried grilled, something like that, peanut butter or banana sandwich. But I hate banana. I took one bite, realized there was banana in it, and stopped eating it. So this one I'm really not looking forward to, but... To read it, it says, fans of banana flavored snacks rejoice. Banana Man is a banana marshmallow covered... Oh, it's even worse. Banana marshmallow covered in banana white chocolate and filled in the center with milk chocolate. Disappointed. The taste reminds us of the chocolate bananas you get at a beach or a carnival. I'm disappointed, Japan. This is not a banana. It looks like a, it looks like a circus peanut. It's poop. It's a little poop. <laughs> Oh, it's marshmallow too. Yeah. I like the Santa Claus marshmallows. Yeah, yeah. It was meant to be. Run away, banana. It was meant to be. <laughs> Guys, my banana fell out. <laughs> okay, so if you know banana shapes, that is not a banana shape. Oh. Oh. Uh, why did you try before me? I didn't try it. I smelt it. Oh. It smells like those banana candies. Yeah, it smells just like banana runts. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. Mm. Oh. There's no chocolate syrup. Uh-uh. No. Why? Uh. <laughs> uh. No. It's very sweet. Very banana. No chocolate. Yeah, there's like no hint of chocolate in there. You can see the chocolate. I could really swallow it. But there's no hint of chocolate. Oh. Uh. Now, as you can probably tell, I don't like to waste food, so... This is for y'all. Oh my god. I'm so, so happy about the next thing. I'm so happy about the next thing. Liquid courage should have been first. Mm. Why couldn't this have been first? Why did we have to do it in order? <laughs> it's the only natural thing to do. Ugh. I'll give that to Abby. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is a big zero out of ten for me. 
more marshmallow than there is. Yeah, there's more marshmallow than there is banana. Oh, stick I really don't think the white chocolate was needed. I Although the white brown chocolate. The white chocolate on the outside. Mm. Although the white chocolate did help kind of cool down the banana flavor a little bit, oh, but not don't. a lot. <laughs> but Japan, come on, that's like peanut shaped. That is not banana shaped. Come on now. Runs can get it together. Come on. Okay, so that's that's over with and done. So the next thing we have is the Naruto Watermelon Remune, which we opened at the beginning. Um, and it's for the Ninja Spirit with a special Naruto Watermelon Flavored Remune. Believe it, Naruto. Um, I cannot remember that character's name, but he's a little sand. He's a peanut. He's a little sand dude. He carries a gourd, which a watermelon is, is a gourd. But what you have to do with these is there's actually two little notches right here. The, not, the notches go towards you, so you're actually going to hold it like this, and you just drink from the top opening. You don't have to take the rubber off or nothing. I'm not a watermelon fan. She's not a fan of the watermelon okay. ones. I love the watermelon ones. Um, watermelon flavoring is not watermelon. <laughs> watermelon tastes like water. You can, uh, you can get these in watermelon, strawberry, orange, green apple, grape, remune, original, and I think there's a couple other. Um, the strawberry ones are really good. Like all of them are really good, um, except orange for the remune. Really yeah, the orange one tastes like straight up orange Fanta. No, no it's lie. Fanta, but Japanese. Yeah. All right. You ready? No. Let's get the banana out of our mouth. Oh. That tastes like a cantaloupe. This one tastes different than the last watermelon one we tried. Because Naruto. I wonder if it's because maybe it's a different company. Okay, they lied. This is not Japanese. This comes from AsianFoodGrocer.com in Richmond, Canada. Canada. Or no, 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 that's California. Richmond, California. This is not Japanese. This is American. Just because it says Ramoon does not mean That's how I know it's a different flavor. Because it's... The one that we actually it's had... American watermelon. Yeah, the one that we actually Japanese had watermelon. was the Japanese Ramune. Um, which we did also pick up at FYE. But this one... It tastes like Sprite with watermelon syrup. It's like a Sonic watermelon Sprite. Yeah, it's like going to Sonic. Totally keep talking about Sonic. We are not sponsored at all. Please. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> but um, it's like going to Sonic asking for a Sprite. Actually, it's more like a Sprite Zero or a Diet Spire. Sprite. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it tastes awful. <clears throat> oh, that banana came back up. Sorry. Um, but it's kind of like a Diet Sprite or Sprite Zero Sprite with watermelon. Are you getting ahead? Okay, so the next thing we have is the Animal Kid Biscuits. It's a Japanese spin on American Animal Crackers. Mine's not even in frame. There we go. <laughs> and Animal Kid Cookies are vanilla biscuits with, that come with adorable animal prints, perfect for drinking in your favorite cafe drink. Or dunking, not drinking. Starbucks, yeah. She's obsessed with Starbucks. Um <laughs> But, so the packaging, it's pretty cute. They look like little little kid stuffed animals. Oh, there's a little baby ducky. A little baby ducky. There's a fox, a raccoon, or is that a, no, that's just a raccoon. Skunk. Pose. There's a skunk. There's a hippo. A hippo. A giraffe. Can't tell anything else because there's a sticker. I'm just going to... But first, first of all, who would want to eat something with a skunk on it? All right, if, you, if you've seen the other... The other food video that we did, uh, it's like a four or five parter. Um, we did the Bean Boozle Challenge and we actually had the skunk one. Yeah. Do not recommend skunk. So, yeah, it just comes in a silver packaging inside there, which, you know, isn't uncommon even with American snacks. Huh? I want to start buying those mystery things and just be like, bang. So. They kind of do smell like animal crackers. Mine doesn't. <laughs> no, it, it smells like animal crackers. The, 
My the, smell is like freaking corn on the cob. <laughs> the generic animal crackers. So the first, like on the first one I pulled out is a teddy bear. And if you can see that, yeah, there you go. I pulled out the baby it's, ducky. It's very, it, they're printed on there very well. They're not actually like just shaped. And then on there, they're actually like printed. Baby ducky. I'm guessing in like edible ink or something like that. But I mean, they're very, very well. Yeah, they could. They might be. They might be like the little tongue tattoos on the fruit roll-ups and stuff. Um, okay, so she's already trying. But um, all right. So here we go. It's kind of like an unsalted cracker with a little bit of sugar. I still taste corn on the top with butter. There's, like, very little flavor to these at all. Which, I mean, I guess they're targeted towards kids. And I'm going to tell you right now. This dog has no face. Having a baby, you try you try their snack foods. So Gerber makes these little biscuits, uh, vanilla. Guys. Yeah, teething biscuits. They're, like, vanilla, lemon. You can give them a lot of different flavors. But they're mainly, like, wheat and a little bit of sugar, and they're What's very hard there? because they're for teething, but they have like absolutely no flavor. Like you get the vanilla ones, you don't taste any vanilla. They'll you taste you, up, though. you taste a little bit of sugar and that's it. The lemon ones, same thing. You get a little hint of lemon, nothing else. That's what these remind me of. They remind me of the little Gerber teething biscuits, and it kind of makes sense because the animals printed on them do look like you know toddler, baby, like yeah, baby duck, like toddler shapes and stuff like, like that. So. Like kids. Crackers, yeah, doesn't it? but they taste like a cracker with no salt, very little sugar. Okay. Oh, uh, we can't do this one. You don't have water. Okay, so the next one that we're supposed to do is this little strawberry soft ser serve ice cream, which is what the instructions in the back said to do. Hang on. Um. You gonna go Okay, so she's going to go get some water. Uh, we need a tablespoon. Two tablespoons? Per thing, so. Okay. So, that's what the instructions in the back of this book are actually for, is for this little strawberry soft serve ice cream thing. Um, and, so you're supposed to empty the mix packet into the tray, add two tablespoons of water, mix, 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 and then fill with bubbly cider mix and enjoy bubbly cider mix what the okay so we're gonna open this up and take a look at it um but while we're waiting on her to return with the water it says that this is Nerico or Nericho soft ice cream strawberry with this diy kit you'll be able to make soft serve ice cream in a unique foamy candy form it even comes with wafer cones to serve your handmade ice cream okay so Some measuring spoons. Okay, so we're gonna open this up, and get you get a tray. You get whatever this is. I'm sure that's the mix. That's the ice cream. But you get three wafer cones, okay? And you get a little spoon Were for mixing and serving. Or were they like this? I, I put them like that. Mine were like this, though. Mine were kind of spread out in there. All right. So first things oh. first. All right, so we're supposed to open this up. Oh. It's like aspirin or not? No, like no, no, no. Smell it, smell it. It smells like strawberry cotton candy. I'm cotton candy now. Okay, so supposed to pour it in the little tray. Oh, it's like dipping sauce almost. Yeah, eh, it's more like sprinkles. All right, which one's a tablespoon? Which one's a tablespoon? That's uh, a teaspoon. I think the big one's the tablespoon. So this is a tablespoon. Yes. All right. So we take two tablespoons of water. It's big ass spoons. Okay. So. This is dangerous. Yeah. This is dangerous to be doing around a lot of electronics. So if you're under the age of 18, please have somebody help you. All right. So there's one. I'm not sure 16 year olds can do this. Two tablespoons of water. <gasps> oh, my ice cream. <laughs> I'm gonna cry out with ice cream now. Ugh. 
Okay, so we can set these over here. Stir, stir, stir. Yep. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stir. It turns foamy. Yeah, it's foaming. Hi, Abby. Sorry. A lot of noise in the background. We're doing laundry, and our daughter decided to come visit. There, you're on the camera. There she is. So. Oh, Jesus. It turns to like really thick foam. Go take it to Grandma. Can you go take that to Grandma? And she's off with the banana man. Oh, oh, gross, Mom. I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Can you close the door? I'll try once I get her out. Okay. Yeah, sorry. We're, we're visiting, or we have family visiting, so. Alright, so. Whoa. So, as you can see, it's kind of foamy. It's like very foamy. It's filled out the entire tray. And. Yeah, I know, you're still stirring. I deal with baby. Alright, so now we're supposed to take one of these little itty bitty wafer cones and fill it with the foam. Yeah, soft serve ice cream. It's foam. I will tell you this, they give you way too much foam for three little cones. Okay, that's about as good as I can get it up and... Oh, the cones are horrible. Mm -mm. No. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. That tastes like medicine. It does. Who said this was a good idea? It does. It tastes like straight up medicine. At least it was strawberry and not cherry. Because then you, you, I would have been... These cones are stale, by the way. Yeah, the cones are a little stale. Well, they're wafer cones. Uh... Oh, ah. And they have no flavor. Yeah, these yeah, don't I add think. any flavor. I'm going to do another. Yeah. Nope. Can't do it. I don't Can't do it. Nope. No, uh. I know why they say don't do that shit. Oh, that is like a zero out of ten. Um, next up we have fruit shop gummy, which is eat fruit gummy tastes just like the fruit it's shaped after, just the right size, squishiness, and sweetness. And these right here. Um, so it looks like we have grape, orange, strawberry, lime, maybe I don't know. Or melon. Or melon. They're yeah. like our melon. Um, so. Nice serving tray. Yeah, comes a little, little serving tray. Not a whole lot in there, but I mean. Yeah, these are lime. So I've got lime, oh, pineapple. All together. I've got like two limes, together. one pineapple, two strawberries, an orange, and a Let's grape. Try pineapple. You don't get much pineapple here. Okay, so we're gonna try pineapple. That's pineapple. Oh. The aftertaste is horrible. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I got to spit, spit. Yeah. That aftertaste is like alcoholic. What are you trying to get you buzzing? All right. I'm going to try the grape. Alcoholic It's wine. It ain't grape. It's wine. <laughs> that just tastes like unflavored gelatin. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Orange. You're braver than I am. These are definitely mm. The orange is really good. You just saying that? No. <laughs> the orange is actually really yeah, good. I gotta get pineapple on the mouth because I couldn't even swallow it. I'm saving the lime for last. Oh, don't. You should have saved the orange for last. Okay, now actually I'm gonna save the strawberry. You can hear Abby at the door, our daughter. Separation. Alright, lime. The lime is very mild. If you if you've ever used 
if you've ever used like lemon or lime zest on in cooking, it's just kind of like the zest. That's actually kind of pleasant. It's actually the lime's actually a really nice palate cleanser. Gets all the other flavors off your tongue. Mm -hmm. All right, strawberries. I like well, you want to read the next one? Okay. Oh, it would be the longest one too. <laughs> but it's okay. It has police frog on it. Next, we're gonna do. Well, how would you pronounce that? Kayabetsu Taro. And that's this little guy. He's a little police frog. Toad. Ribbit, so, ribbit, pull over. <laughs> These come in a brown sauce flavor, very. It's like teriyaki, tayo. Takoyaki. Or Worcestershire. I like Fire. what I look Worcestershire. Sauce with a sprinkle of nori flakes. What is nori? No. Nori is seaweed. I learned that on TV. You can learn from TV. They're so addictive that in Japan they come in an extra, extra large bag size. We think they taste a bit like vinegar and it has us wanting to eat the taokia. Takoyaki. Okay, so... Oh, it's salt and vinegar too. So first of all, the smell. The smell hits you. <laughs> 10 out of 10, I do recommend the packaging. 10 out of 10 recommend packaging. America. And, and they're ball shaped. Ooh. If you get frog balls. <laughs> Demonetized. Um, just a little biology lesson. Frogs don't have testiculars. Their eggs are ball shaped. <laughs> okay, so. This chair sounds like Worcestershire sauce. Alright, so I'm going to go with the one that's got the most nori flakes on it. Like. They kind of look like dark sour cream and onion. Um, but, alright. Oh, one of my balls got burnt in my dealers. <laughs> alright. It's very delicious in my mouth. They're good. It, it, it does taste a lot like Worcestershire sauce. They're good. They do not deceive you when they say Worcestershire sauce. I could actually eat a whole bag. You should put these on steak for crust. For crust? Don't disrespect your steak like that. Come on now. To be protected. Mm. I can't stop eating them. I don't care. They're literally just like a cheese ball. Minus the cheese. Worcestershire flavored sprinkled with nori flakes. Another soft candy. Oh, great. She doesn't, she doesn't like sushi so all right so next up we have a chorus cola soft candy cola is a popular flavor in japan and using the wonders of modern science you can now enjoy it in a soft chew candy cora or chorus is known for their chewy and flavorful treats and this one is no exception so there's the packaging it's got a little soda man on it. got a little soda man and what worries me the most is i can't tell if that's a lemon or supposed to be sunshine beside him Lemon. So I don't know if it's gonna be like lemony, and probably a lemon white. Oh, it's like a cow a cow tail. If you know what cow tail is, it's like caramel with a soft cream in the middle. Um, yeah, it, it smells like smells just candy, like the so smells. Like cinnamon. Yeah, it smells cinnamon just like the uh, just like the Dino Cola candies oh. did. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, there's lemon in it. It's a really weird flavor. It I'm is, like... Well, now that I'm chewing it, I can probably dig it. Okay. Yeah, the more you chew it, it does get better. Um, but... I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would call it cola. I mean... It doesn't taste like Coke or... or I well, cola. Their cola's probably different than uh, their yeah, cola. their cola could probably be different, but when I think of a cola, I think of like Pepsi, Coke, which they do have. Which I know they do have. I mean, it's not bad. I ate my whole. I ate the whole thing. I'm doing the next one. Okay. 
what is it called? You may. You my ring, mintai flavor. Easy little thing, which some of the packaging like right there reminds me of lifesavers. The way they come usually come out of tubes. So it looks like on my package. So. Oh, it's got a little cat on it. That little cat recognizes. Nice the little picture is supposed to indicate it. It kind of just looks like a blob or a pepper. Okay. These rings are perfect for fans of cheese puffs, but who also like snacks with a unami taste. You, you, you mean me. I don't know what that is, so. This snack was made for you. This month's flavor of Mintako. Read more about its unique taste on the featured candy paint. Oh, it's a candy. Chip tasting like candy. What's the deal? Chip tasting like candy. Well, you know Japan likes doing that stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to read more on this page, and it says nothing. They they smell just like the little Worcestershire balls. Oh, there's a little king man. Or it could be my fingers from where I was eating them. Someone tell me who this character is. Who is he? Who is he? There's a little old man, too. He says, boom. So I'm going to apologize now. This is going to be a long video. Um, if you've stuck around this long, thank you. Um, but I really didn't expect subscribe. there to be this. Yeah, subscribe. I really didn't think there was going to be this many items in the box. Um, I can't even open mine. Yeah, I know. I had to tear okay, mine at the corner. Oh. Okay, so she's still opening it. I'm going to go ahead and try. So it's like a Funyun? No, they're not spicy. It's like a Funyun. There's cheese, but it's sweet at the same time. I am not speedling this at all. I don't know. Eat another one. They kind of get better. Oh. It's kind of like a... Uh, there is a little bit of burn on my tongue. Which is weird because I can't, I can't feel burn on my tongue from like spiciness. Well, that's what they get you. But oh, it's a corn cracker. It's like it's kind of like a mustard dish burn. So it's kind of like it's like a really sweet honey mustard type deal going. I can't really describe this. I mean, it has paprika on it. I'm at a loss for words, y'all. They're good. It has cod seasoning powder on it. Cod fish. I like them. Peppery for color. I get I, I give that an eight out of ten. It may contain eggs. You would have mine if you want it. I've already drank all of the one and you're already on mine. No. I'm not on yours yet. Okay. Well this changed. <laughs> so apparently the foamy ice cream has become less foamy and just more watery. Uh, but that's okay. Um, this one, actually, I'm interested in. Um, this is Ye Yaokin Kokobis Biscuits. I'm oh, sorry. Um, crispy biscuits with a hint of coconut. These go great with tea or coffee. These are even better when dunked in your favorite warm or cold drink. So Coca-Cola is cold, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Coca-Cola and coconut would mix. But these are like a very lightly coconut flavored biscuit. Is this going to be like, oh, what is that one? Vegemite? Where it's like, oh, you had to spread it on toast to eat mm, it. Oh. I, I don't know. I've never tried Vegemite. I don't plan on it. That, that's another thing. If y'all want to see if y'all want to see us eat some more weird stuff, um, recommend a country and we'll see what we can find. Um, but okay, so when it's you open... It's a bland cracker. So when you open it up, there's three rows. They're shiny. They look almost greasy. Um, and oh, I, that's the coconut. It's like coconut was like. Oh, it's coconut. It. Yeah. Coconut coated. This side is coconut. This so side is there's cracker. not there's nine cookie crackers in here. They kind of look like a uh, half a triscuit, or if you have that the, is coconut. if you have them in your area, chicken bit chicken and biscuit. I bet this stuff is supposed to like melt off into your tea. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess it's like coconut sugar on it, but all right, here go, I'm gonna go sugar side down. 
Oh. Oh. I'm a big coconut fan. I don't get any of the coconut. I do. It's like an application. Yo, it's like. Here, let me try yours. No. Why is it on your tongue? Sugary side down. I'll put it here. All right. So that's actually kind of like a graham cracker that has been uh, coated in sugar and it's been kind of like burned on. It's kind of like a creme brulee topping, but it has coconut in it. It's, they're really not bad. I don't like that. Yeah. And she That's don't like coconut. I don't like the texture of coconut. Yeah. So if they can get rid of the texture of coconut, fine. So that, that was actually really good. Oh, we're down to our last two. Down to the last two. So the next one we have is the corn pottage puffs. These are corn pottage. Is a, uh, corn pottage is a popular creamy soup in Japan. You'll find it in okay. restaurants, and it's even sold in warm cans from vending machines. Eat these in, eating these is like sipping on delicious corn pottage. So, warm cans from vending machines. Come on now. I'm I'm gonna guess it's kind of like a porridge, soup. but with corn. It's so if it's a corn pottage, I'm gonna assume it's a corn chip. It smells like kettle corn. I smell corn on the cob again. <laughs> okay, so they're kind oh, of... they're like shell-shaped. Yeah, they're kind of shell-shaped. I figured they'd be like corn-shaped. I guess this is what corn looks like over there. Um, but... Oh, that is like whole kernel corn straight in your mouth. That is like eating corn. Yeah, that's like just straight up like cream-style sweet corn. It's not bad though when you're craving like corn on the cob, but you don't want to fix it or mess with butter and stuff. Oh yeah, I mean it's not bad. I mean it's really it's actually really good. Like there was not that much air in there. See, so Chip we is possible. See, we grow our own garden during the spring and summer, and so like we have fresh tomatoes and corn, watermelon, oh, so cute. cucumbers, things like that, and everything. And this reminds me of her homemade cream style corn, which I absolutely love. Like, I literally want to go get a pepper shaker from the kitchen and like shake it in this bag, shake it up, and just eat these. I'm a good cooking. That that's literally like what all I want to do with it. I can't stop eating them. They're real fluffy too. Yeah, they're fluffy. They're real fluffy, flaky. Um, think of a cheese puff without the cheese. And flavored like cream sour corn. Does that make us weird? Because we like cream sour corn potato chips. <laughs> All right. No. So the last thing we have is Ye Yaokin Mogu grape chew. Okay. There's multiple in here. I can feel it. These soft, awesome grape pillows are chewy and delicious. Be careful with these because once you eat one, you'll want to go through the whole pack. I highly doubt it. I'm not a great artificial grape flavor lover. So, opening it up, they're each individually like wrapped, kind of like a haichu or a starburst would be. Um, the packaging really reminds me of... Wait, was yours silver? Okay, I thought yours was just purple. But why, what, hang on now, if this is great, why is there cherries and strawberries and lemons on this thing? I wonder if they have multiple flavors. Oh. Oh, it's artificial flavored. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of artificial grape flavoring. Like, I don't even like grape I soda. It says it's a soft chew. Or is this like a Jolly Rancher? And it says it? these awesome soft. Wait, it's it's not purple. It's white. Yeah, I'm colorblind. And I can tell you that ain't purple. That ain't grape. Oh. What's in the middle? Oh. Why is it pink in the middle? It smells like. Mine's kind of like purplish pinky in the middle. That. <clears throat> No, 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 no. It smells like grape dishwashing liquid. Eating soap. Yeah, I guess I need to wash my mouth up. I 
Yep, yeah, no. No. Can't do it. It's just like a high chew. Oh. But worse. That is soap. Yeah, it tastes just like soap. Did you say your tastes like cat litter smells? Yeah. It might be the corn. Or. Stop eating it. It's not worth it. You're gonna start bubbling. Bubble, bubble. Wish they had different ones other than Japan crazy. Uh. Gone. Done. Bye. Swallowed. Okay. So that's actually going to wrap it up. This is almost an hour long video. So if you all did stick around to the end of this, I would do appreciate it. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, leave us a comment down below. If you all enjoyed us eating Japanese, I'm not even going to say candy. I'm just going to say Japanese snacks. Um, if you want to see more also in your comment, leave us a country. We'll take a look online, see what we can find. Um, recommend some subscription crates too. Yeah. Subscription crates. Uh, we're, we're interested in things like bark box. Um, I haven't done loot crate um, just because I don't really have anywhere to put any extra bits Major and bobs. Um, Although it would be cool to get the shirts. Yeah. But um, if you all have any other ideas for like subscription boxes for like food or something like that, please do let us know down in the comments. Um, if you all want to see Mrs. Zapdos back even more or if you want to see Little Zapdos come back even more, um, let us know down below as well. I'm going to try to... Like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so I think the next one we might do, we might bring her in. Um, she's not afraid to eat anything. Yeah, she's not afraid to eat anything. Um, but I am going to try to keep um, making videos. Um, I'm going to try to try to get it streaming. So she said once every week. So I have to follow what she commands me yeah, to do. Really um, so it's, it's kind of hard because where all this is right now is we're about... 20 30 minutes away and I do work full time so we basically only have the weekends to come over here and do things like this and it, it just gets very difficult but uh if she says one video if she says one video a week I'm going to try to put up one video a week maybe two you maybe two know. um just never know just depends on how much recording I get done I am going to be streaming um so if you do want to follow me uh link will be down in the description below twitch.tv slash zapdose pkmn um I'm going to get back on the streaming grind. Uh, Call of Duty World War II is coming out, and I plan on playing the crap out of that, because if you know me, Call of Duty 2 on the PC is where I got my start um, in video games and everything else. So, don't call me Rusty. All right, guys, so I'm going to get out of here. Um, everybody say goodbye to Mrs. Epdos. She'll be back in a later video. And I'll I'm, pop in every now and then. She's going to pop in every, every now and then. Um, yeah, she'll be popping in just to say, get off the computer. Um, but alright guys, I am Zapdos and I'm gonna get out of here.